Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. One thing I absolutely hate is when you've had a couple drinks, you're a little bit tipsy at the bar, and you look across from your man, and you just want to take his clothes off. Another cool story from yet another OF girl. But I need you guys to help me out. What does it mean when you say you look across from your man? Does it mean you're looking at him? Let me tell you something. If you ever have to choose between me and someone else, please choose them. Because you already lost me the moment there was a choice. I'm not an option. And yet I'm supposed to be part of a roster. And better yet, I'm supposed to be okay with that. No, but seriously, if I have to choose between you and someone else, not only that I'm gonna choose them, but you're never an option to begin with. <laughs> Can we have a Tay talk for a second? Okay. You know when guys go to the bar and they meet a girl? Or like a club? Or like just anywhere? And they're like, hey, are you from here? Uh, what do you do? They're asking all these logical questions, right? Um, and I'm sure you've had the girls that are just like, nice. They're nice. And they're like, oh, and they give the answers, right? And then he's like, can I have your number? She's like, no. Or even she'll give the number, unfortunately. Rewarding him for bad behavior. Hold, hold up. It's bad behavior, okay? And then never text back. Confusing, frustrating, right? Or you'll even get a girl that's like, really rude she just like pretends like she didn't hear you when <laughs> we heard you we know we know okay and you're just like maybe she didn't hear me and you like kind of walk off it's like confused gentleman right or angry all sorts of emotions what is happening there what is happening there well from a professional dating standpoint i will tell you that men and women are different we are different. I don't care what the world tells you. We are different, okay? And what I have experienced from being a woman and teaching dating skills is this. When a man comes up and asks logical questions that are obvious into taking little to no effort in formulating, right? They're just the off the mill questions. I'm not going to reward him for bad behavior. So I have actually not replied, okay? Because here's why. He's coming to me, asking me, to turn into a man, being all logical and getting that information, to make him feel feminine, make him feel good about himself. It just occurred to me that I don't have to listen to this. She kept going for one more minute, but I just had to stop. Another dating coach with one of those trust me bro credentials. So two people went to one of those places where people usually go to socialize. And one of them is approaching the other one with logical questions. And your best advice as a dating coach, because that's the lie you're telling yourself, is for her to ignore him. Because he has logical questions. And that obviously is bad behavior. Gee, I wonder why dating is so bad these days. If this message found you, then it's truly meant for you. These messages come from my guides and they've asked me to share. I don't put any hashtags or captions on these messages, so they go wherever they're meant to go. So if this found you, you definitely want to stop and take a listen. You're going to get to where you're going, even if it doesn't feel like you're on the right path right now. You've been doing a lot of healing work and you've been really, really opening up your gifts. And you feel like you're being led somewhere, but you're not exactly sure where that place is. It's going to become clear, but you have to give it time. You have to let it marinate. You have to let it come into your actual 3D existence. So get comfortable in the uncomfortable here and now. Because it's in staying in the present moment that we really learn to find joy in every circumstance. And finding joy in every circumstance will allow you to move to your highest timeline. Keep going. You've got this. I'm gonna need your guys help again. She's a doctor, right? How does a doctor become one of the biggest lunatics on TikTok? Can't be from too much success as a doctor, right? Hey doc, I got a headache or I broke my leg. Hold on, let me see what your spirit guys is telling me. Yeah, someone needs to enter in your 3D existence. Yeah, no. No one is entering nothing in this 3D existence. I can promise you that. If you really are a doctor, you're embarrassing yourself. Either be a doctor or be a complete lunatic. But if you choose the second, take that doctor out of your name 
I just accidentally flashed a whole street full of people. <laughs> I'm wearing this. And I always wear a top under my jumper, but I forgot that I didn't put one on. And I was out for like two hours. And like in Gold Coast, it heats up. It heats up, okay? So I got hot. And I totally forgot that I wasn't wearing the top underneath. I lift up my jumper to about here when I think, hmm, that feels a bit airy. And then my brain was like, you didn't put a top underneath the jumper. I literally heard a woman gasp. <laughs> and I turn around and there's at least 12 people that have watched me from across the street. <laughs> Flush them, essentially. Why do these things happen to me? I blame my ADHD. I just gave them a free show. For free. For free. Cool story. 10 out of 10 for creativity. Even though if you go on the hub, there's at least 10 movies with the same story. But please tell us more. What else you're gonna blame on your ADHD? Your OF account? Your poor life choices? Nah, obviously not, because that's what makes you strong and independent. Let's talk about accepting that you might never meet your person or have the type of love that you want. As a holistic therapist and relationship coach, as well as a 32 year old woman who is single, I have a lot of personal and professional expertise in this area. In my last video, I talked about how for me personally, getting to the point where I was willing to believe and accept that I would someday meet my person was what helped me embrace and enjoy being single more. But there was also a time in my life where the opposite was true. And for a lot of people, the opposite is true. We need to get to the point where we can embrace and accept the fact that we might never meet our person. Why this is important is because it allows us to stop putting our life on hold and waiting to have the life experiences that we want to have until that person comes. It essentially demands that we start to create the life experience that we want to have for ourselves right here and now because it might be a long time before we meet that person or they might not come at all and we still deserve to live a rich, fulfilling, love-filled, amazing life. What's most important is that you be honest with yourself about whether your self-talk and beliefs are self-defeating or self-empowering. That's what's most important at the end of the day. This is exactly what I would want to hear from a relationship coach. Hey, I have these problems, what do I do? Oh, I, I don't know, love yourself. Uh, yeah, thanks, I did that already. In fact, I kind of overdid it. I got blisters and everything. Seriously, what do I do? Uh, buy a cat. Now I do have to admit I'm an ignorant lunatic. But to me, there's a difference between a dating coach and a relationship coach. A relationship coach should work with couples, right? Again, I'm only guessing. But I still don't believe that a relationship coach should tell you, ah, you're single you're gonna be single forever nah don't worry about it i never tried it and probably i should because i think it would make for a great experience but i'm guessing it's just as easy for people to go and look for outside help as it is to get a colonoscopy and you princess <laughs> my bad coach you just left the camera up someone else's rear end and all you have to say is nah it's gonna be fine buy a cat and don't eat solid food for a week I'm sorry, but if a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. Like, I'm just not going. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on. Put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius. You're... Uh-uh. No, I'd rather not go on a date. I'm sorry. I already know the type of person you are. Like, I can tell by the car you drive what kind of person you're going to be. Wait, I'll show you another. And this is for the boys, too. If y'all drive these cars... You need to reevaluate yourself because, anyways, let me show you another car. The only person that should drive this is my 90 year old grandpa. That's the only person. Okay, hold on, one more. I've got one more. Be for real. Also, this picture makes me laugh. But, like, why did you get that? The only thing they need to reevaluate is dating you, as in they shouldn't. Or as in if they come and pick you up with a car you don't like and they see you batting an eye, the only next move would be for them to drive away. If it's money you're looking for, sometimes money don't come with expensive cars. But at all times, always, a D will taste the same in every car. I was stood up last night. 
Let's talk about this. No, let's not. You spoil the entire story. Maybe next time start with something different and lead us into the ending. Or at least if you're gonna spoil the story, say it from the beginning. Spoiler alert. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I wonder what happened with the nice lady. She got stood up? No, it can't be. That's impossible. With that pretty nose ring? No, it just can't be. Babe, someone just messaged me saying they'd give me $10,000 if I fly out and sleep with them. You wouldn't do that, right? Babe, I would never. Anyway, ladies, what I was gonna say was I would never fumble the bag. And there's always one Muppet who think he's gonna clean the street. You know you're supposed to take the trash out, not take it into your home, right? The difference between women and men. Man. Yeah, pretty much. And I know what you're about to say, because I would probably say it, but hey, that catch, that catch would make footballers cry. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.